is early. It is after all of the rains that happened last night, I assume. I, oh, I'm so sorry. You got right in front of my foot. I was really not feeling good yesterday. I was really out of it. So I slept a lot and just rested. But I'm out here this morning with Miss Phoebe. Um, she doesn't respond to me as well as she does Ellie when it comes to the following around. So she can't keep up with me during chores. So I'm going to put her inside because Ellie has more patience than I do. Daffy! You do not get to be mean to her. But her name is officially Phoebe. She's my Phoebes. Um, you know, from friends. And then, don't mind this. Adam or Steve was just up here. That's on today's cleaning list. You might have seen this friend. I'm on Ellie's channel. I'm going to try to get this friend an appointment because I've never seen this cat before. And I'm beginning to think that maybe this is a flood survivor who got relocated. And this is obviously somebody's pet. Like, this is a friendly cat. So, I'm going to see if we can get a vet appointment today because I'm kind of worried about FIV and all of that. So, we'll see. Can we get you a vet appointment, baby? He's really sweet, though, but he's a little rough looking. So, I came looking for you, three. And I should know better. If y'all are walking around, why would you be with me when you could be in here? Y'all aren't even eating anything. Y'all are just, like, putting your noses in it. Hi, Tallulah. Y'all didn't know their official names by now. I'll go ahead and tell you because I haven't posted a whole lot. This is Tallulah. That is Mr. Toulouse. And then that is little Ryan, our sweet girl. Okay. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Tigger. Come on. Woo! Come on. Let's go with the big goats. Come on. I always so hate how the rain makes this right here just look kind of nasty because we're walking through with the water and our boots and all that. Come on. Let's go. The rain, I feel like, while it can be good, like during the summer, I feel like it just makes the property look bad when it's not summer. It just makes everything look muddy and just everywhere. Hey, come on. We're going to go see the big goats. Come on. Little goats, come on. I don't know how to work with those three. I, I have taken a hands-off approach with them. I mean, I'm hands-on with them. I love them, but I am not the one bottle feeding them and doing their care because I did the last three bottle babies. So I asked Ellie if he could do these ones and he graciously accepted. Okay, okay, they can't come in. These guys are gonna get, okay. Let's go this way, come on y'all. Let's do a, a check on everybody, but I need y'all to come see me. Okay, come on, let's go over here. We've got okie dokie. That's good, hello Thumper. Love to see you buddy. Hi Ursula. Hello, Dill. I was gonna ignore your poor behavior, but you need to get down. Hi, Hero. Hello, my Cupid boy. Hi, Bobos. Okie, you are all kinds of sandy and gross. 20 kinds of wrong. We got Walter. We have Miss Carrie. Her bag is looking pretty big, so we're gonna call Lester and see if he's able to get her babies. Oh my gosh, get down, Oki. This is the fourth time he's done this. Go. No. Hey, Gus Gus. See, I like the animals that don't jump on me behind my back. No. Go. I have to be rough with you. Oh. That, that was uncalled for, Gus Gus. Hi, Bobos. Hi, Lulu. I need it to dry up so I can come sit out here with y'all in the pasture. Stop. I've given you plenty of attention since you've gotten back. Hi, Angel. How's my guy? Let's check out your wounds. We haven't checked on them as recently because they've been doing better. Um, you need to stop. What's your name? Oki. You need to see your back. Oh, it's healed nicely. It's a nice big old, like, blood blister scab looking thing but it's good and now it is time to empty out their water trough and get it moved over here because this water is working we believe so i'm gonna get that all moved and squared away so i've noticed since the flood there are just some very very different things and let me explain it and maybe it's it's different things to me aside from 
don't mind the way everything looks y'all i feel like it looks horrible but it always looks like this after rain and i think we're supposed to get more rain so i can't really clean anything right now because it'll just get messed up like the barn i want to go sweep the barn that's mud but if it rains again there's no point in doing that right what are y'all doing how'd you get in here to lose I have, oh, that's going to be a broken leg. Hey, Tallulah, stop, baby. I've never had goats like these. These ones are just, they don't got it together. But one thing that definitely has changed since the flood is Teresa and Jill have been here every day, pretty much all day with a few exceptions. Hi, little man. Yes, hi, little man. I know, I know. They have been here pretty much every day, and I'm kind of loving it, like, I, this is, I forgot how much I loved having the peacocks walking around as a group. Jill is having a face off with Gus Gus. Let me tell you, everybody who told me in the comments that other creators were saying these peahens were mean, they were right. They are mean little stinkers. Okay, we've got Tallulah, we've got Toulouse. Ryan hasn't figured it out yet. What the heck is that bird doing? Um, since the flood, that's another thing that's changed is I've given up on trying to keep hey hey and his friends in um they don't bother papa's garden and they somehow every day find a way out and so yeah um they're come on ryan fixing that run is not on my high list of priorities right now because there's just a lot of other things going on hey dill <laughs> hi my boy you were my bottle baby yes you were my bottle baby. I mean, you were Ellie's bottle baby, too, but I, I bottle fetch. Oh, no, what happened to your nose, buddy? What must have happened yesterday? It looks like it's okay. Can I check you out? You've got some poop. Your feathers are growing back. Why do you have poop on you? You seem like you're doing a lot better, buddy. Are the peacocks being mean? You got... Oh, that's more poop. <laughs> All right, let's check it out. If you don't want to see what the wound looks like, look away now. Looks good. Nasty, but healing, which is always good. I haven't sprayed spray on it since the second day because it pretty much closed it up. And at that point, if it's not infected, I, there's, I shouldn't spray more. Oh, look. There's Hissy. One of her kittens. Two of them. There's a third one. Look <laughs> at how able bodied. So cute. Good mama, hissy fit. I don't know, she's calling for that third one, but that third one will not come out. <laughs> Soon we're gonna have to keep that thing open because they're gonna be too big to crawl under. Hey man, what you doing? Y'all love chewing. Yes, you do. Hi, Tallulah. Ryan! Oh, Y'all are so mean. Hey. Are you sad that you're not the only baby around anymore? You had to grow up a lot with the flood. You did. And guess what? You're still my handsome dill. You're my dilly boy. Good, handsome man. Dill does not like babies. I think because he's jealous. What are you doing? Dad told me you killed a snake yesterday. You killed a snake. Proud of you, girl. <laughs> Your hunting instincts are doing good. Come on, little babies. Y'all need to come out. One, two, three. I know, Dill. I know. Your days of getting out are over. It's always a sad day on Mono Hill when the babies that get out can't get out anymore. Can I get that out of your eye, please? Thank you. A little bit. Okay, something's going on with the chickens. I'm not quite sure what we're doing. Looks like we're on alert. What are we doing? What's going on here? We've got egg dances going on over there. Yeah, we got egg dances going on over there. There are cats up there, but those cats are here every day. My rabbits, I gave them a whole box of strawberries because there weren't a whole lot in there. 
because there are bigger strawberries. I haven't ate them. Hissy, is that you? There's two. Baby chicks are doing good. They're still here in the omelet. They made a mess with their food. There is one that every time I open this, she pecks me and grabs my hand. And it's so funny. Which one of you is it? Are you, y'all aren't hungry anymore? So this is gonna be a speckled Sussex, I know that. I think this is gonna be, this is either my red Orpington or this is gonna be my Starlight Olive Egger. It's either this one or this one. These two orange ones, red ones. One of them is an Orpington, one of them is a Starlight Olive Egger. I didn't order a red Orpington. I got that one um, as a like, thank you for purchasing kind of thing. She gave me an extra bird. And so I think this one's gonna be the Orpington and that one's gonna be the Starlight Olive Egger. Our candy corns are growing out beautifully. They're all kind of different variations of it. That's gonna happen until we fully know how they grow out. I don't know if they're boys or girls yet. This is a salmon favorella. Fa I don't know how to say it. Probably never will learn, but it's okay. Um, this big white one here is a splash Jersey giant. And then that big brown one kind of in the middle there, Tallulah is on my back, but it doesn't hurt because she's tiny, is a chocolate Orpington, and then Penny's babies are backyard mixes. Okay, so Hissy doesn't like what's going on with the kittens. I don't think she likes that she doesn't have easy access to them, and she has to wait to see if they're going to come out. Like, they're coming out, but uh, they're going to get too big too quick. See, already having a little bit of trouble. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, Hissy, I'm going to just open this for you. Oh, look, there's one. Oh, look at that baby. Oh, let me get a better grip on you. Hey, little one. You're cute. You're cute. Oh, look at your pouty face. You're beautiful. Yes, you are. Let me put Goodness, where are you going? Caught night, Joe. Okay, hold on. Hold on. No, I don't want you to fall. Your little foot's stuck. Hold on, y'all. Your little footsie stuck because of your claws. Look at that beautiful baby. So cute. Okay, I'm not going to give you to your mom. I'm going to put you back with your siblings. Oh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you're spicy, I know. My boy is always fighting me. And Courtney's doing great now that Jack has his girls, they're no longer bothering him. So Courtney's doing great. So I actually went ahead and put the babies up because they, I don't know if they've been to the pond with Ellie yet and it's rained and I don't know the situation over here. So I'm just gonna say it's probably better to keep them away from here for right now. So I put them back in the stalls so they don't get in any tr in, into any trouble while I'm gone. Ellie did tell me that he thinks we may have lost two of the ducklings, Sassy's ducklings. So we're gonna go see if we can find Sassy and her ducklings. They're spreading out more and more, so I don't know. I think I see her ducklings. <laughs> we're gonna try and count. So I see some ducklings right here. Or I see a duckling. How many ducklings did I see? I've got one. Oh, they're so pretty. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't love that there's nine. Let's see. Here. I don't see any under there. They could be swimming with mama. I'm gonna be careful over here. There could definitely be water moccasins. Now 
I have seen the little ducklings split up. Some go with mom and some stay over here. I see some some ducklings over here. But okay, so there's three. So nine, 10, 11, 12. Those are all the same size, 13. Yeah, there's three right there. Four, wait. One, two, three, four, five. So there's five there, 10 there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five. So Sassy's amongst them. So I think we maybe did lose one. Maybe I'm gonna go count those over there. So there's five over there. Five, starting at the back. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14. But there's a, who is that? Is that sassy? That is sassy. Oh, look at all these little babies going. Go see your mama. I just love seeing her in the background. So cute. Oh, look at them. They're all going to come join up as a family. Y'all, I know it's going to suck that she's probably lost two, but at this rate, where at this time last year when she had them, within three days she lost. 12 ducklings so that is a lot right there that is a super mom she got them through the flood y'all that is super mom